Good morning, YTPC, Graybeard Piper. Sorry about the close-up. Uh, it's raining out here, and I'm not sure how well the audio is going to pick up. Just wanted to come on this morning, and I want to do a little video to new pipe smokers about pipes. Um, smoking a new LaRocca bent billiard, I guess, from uh, the Happy Piper. Uh, I've got another one like it, and great smokers. Inexpensive pipe. It's a briar, a basket briar, made in Italy, uh, acrylic stem, 20 40 bucks. Can't beat them. And with it, some coffee. Now, the reason for this video. When I first got into pipe smoking, you know, I'd go onto these websites, you know, smoking pipes, pipes and cigars, so forth and so on, and I would see these gorgeous pipes, you know, 150, 200, 300, some of the Meershams, you know, three, four, five hundred dollars for a pipe. And it was really kind of overwhelming. And uh, so I get on Facebook and you know, I get some of these new pipe new pipe smoker groups, chat rooms, or not chat rooms, but pages and such. Oh, by the way, I have, uh, I believe this is Cornell and Bill's lavish English or luxury English it's a bulk I just a bulk tobacco I just got trying out some new English pens it's okay not first time I smoked it so I'm not really sure yet but anyway so I get on these pages and uh people start suggesting cobs. Never smoked a cob before? No idea. <clears throat> but uh, I went to smoking pipes and I bought a couple of little corn cob pipes. One of them I think was around $15. Uh, it was a Mark Twain. And the other one was a uh, Missouri Pride and that's where I started out and as a new pie smoker you can really get overwhelmed with your options <coughs> I mean, you can go on to smoking pipes and you can see literally thousands of pipes, briar pipes, corn cob pipes, uh, you know, Nording Compass, Nording Keystone. Uh, well, they, and, no, they don't have Keystone on there, they have Compass. But the selection is vast to say the least. And don't get overwhelmed by that. 
as a new pipe smoker, first thing is you're not going to know if this is something that you're going to be doing six months or a year from now. If you're just trying it out. You may decide, you know, three months down the road and you can't get away from tongue bite that I'm not doing this anymore, man. This, this isn't enjoyable. This is torturous. And you quit. So... Ooh, the retro hell is really good. So don't start out. I mean, if you have the wherewithal to go buy, you know, a, a $250 Nording, do it. It's a good investment. Smoke it a few times. If you decide you don't like it, you can always sell it. But, you know, so many of us don't have that option. We don't have a couple of hundred dollars to drop on a pipe. So, start out with something like a corn cob. If you have somewhere, if you have access to a brick and mortar, Go in and pick up a little basket briar. You can get them, you know, make sure it's briar. Uh, you know, they have them out there from China in these in these little, what I call head shops. You know, where they sell all the glass pipes and, and bongs and grinders and all that. So a lot of those have, you know, some pipes over in the display case. Most of the time, those are from, you know, China. They're selling them for 20, 25 bucks, and they're not briar. They're some other type of wood. So make sure you get a briar basket. But, you know, start out with a cheap one. And get, you know, one, maybe two. Maybe get a cob and a briar. And then concentrate on your blends you know when I first started I'd go on and and I'd watch people like uh, the pipe cottage or uh, Oh, what's the other guy's name? Uh, there's another one, and they and they do all these tobacco reviews, and so all the stuff they were doing was they were doing these tins. Well, I mean, you know, you can pick up a tin of tobacco depending on the brand, you know, a couple of ounces for 12, 15 bucks, or depending on the brand, you can spend 20, 25 bucks on a couple ounces. But a lot of what you're paying for there is the tin. So, you can't smoke the tin, you can't smoke the artwork. Uh, look at bulk. You know, you can get a lot of tobaccos in bulk. Enough to try out the different families of tobaccos. You can get aromatics in bulk. You can get Virginia's in bulk. You can get vapors in bulk. You can get, uh, what am I missing? English, Virginia. Aromatics, Vapors, Burleys. You can get straight Latakia in bulk. You can get straight Parik in bulk. Uh, you know, 
those cost you anywhere from can't keep my pipe lit you know three to five to six dollars an ounce I mean like you know you get the straight Latakias and Pariks they're going to be more expensive uh, you know I've, I've paid as little as, as a little over two bucks an ounce for a bulk tobacco I went out and started buying the tins you know right off the bat man I, I was all in gung ho and then I find out, you know, I really don't care for this tobacco. Now, there's always the option that you can give that tobacco to another smoker, which is a lot of what I've done. I've never tried to sell my tobacco. Uh, you know, I just, I find someone that on here or on Facebook or on Instagram that, that I follow, and I know that all I see is their online presence. But I'll gift them that tobacco. Hey, man, send me your address. I got something I want to send you. And just, you know, send them whatever's left. <clears throat> I just sent out uh, a bunch of tobacco to a friend. Uh, you know, he's done some, some pipe work for me. I've got a couple of his pipes. Return the favor. But anyway, beside that, you know, start out with a couple of pipes and then spend the bulk of your money on different families of tobacco to find what you like, to find what suits your palate. Invest in that type of tobacco and then start spending your money once you realize you know okay this is something that I'm gonna be in this is something this this I enjoy this lifestyle I enjoy this hobby if you will because if it's something you if it's something that you're gonna do you're gonna put quite a bit of time into smoking a pipe you know it's not like going out and smoking a cigarette you're gonna spend 20 30 minutes on a small bowl a bowl like this one, I'll spend an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and 45 minutes, depending on how I smoke. And so you'll invest a lot of time in this. But then once you figure out your tobaccos and, and you know, you get that, then start looking at pipes. And look at the basket briars uh, look at up and coming artisan pipe makers a lot of those guys are willing to sell their pipes at a much discounted rate because they understand they're gaining experience in their craft <coughs> so they're willing to start out now granted their pipes may not be at this point in time they may not have the visual appeal that someone who's been making pipes for five years has that's made literally hundreds of pipes so but they're learning their trade they're learning their their craft Therefore, they're willing to, excuse me, sell their pipes at a less rate, at, at a lesser amount. So, start out with a couple of pipes. You know, maybe a couple of briars and a couple of cobs. One briar, one cob. Then concentrate on your, your tobaccos to find which blends you like to find which families you like. Then go back and start building your collection of pipes and building your collection of tobaccos, your cellar. And 
do all of this after you've decided that this is a hobby that you're going to be and this is a lifestyle that you want and you'll be here for a long time so anyway I've rambled for about 15 minutes so uh, I apologize for the for the longevity of my video <coughs> uh, you know it's it's a beautiful rainy day here in Texas absolutely loving the rain we need it very very badly so uh, hopefully it's sunny where you are or rainy where you are or whatever weather you enjoy I hope that your pipe is warm and your tobacco is mellow and with that until next time guys stay safe and keep it smoky bye